What is Buddhism to you? Buddhism is the path to liberation, a path to awakening, a path out of suffering, uh, a way out of entanglements. All of these desires and attachments that come with worldly life weigh us down, uh, make us confused, uh, and also waste a lot of time. <laughs> when, when we follow the path of Dharma, it's, um, it opens up our heart. Mm -hmm. We get rid of the entanglements one by one. Mm -hmm. We become freed from all of those worldly concerns. And one by one, not all at once of course, but one by one, the worldly entanglements fall away. The chains to worldly life, like shopping for example, right? Okay, when you're a girl, when you're an ordinary girl, Shopping looks so attractive. Uh -huh. You can go and buy this and that and the other thing. Yeah. But it's not always that satisfying. You get one thing, but well, that wasn't exactly the right outfit. So you have to go and buy another one. And then mm, you wear it once or twice, and mm, it's not the perfect one either. So then you have to go and buy another one. And it's endless. But that's the right? fun of it. That's oh, life, that right? Oh, OK. Well, I found it was unsatisfying. Now I wear the same thing every day and I'm free. <laughs> I don't have to worry, I don't have to go to the mall, I don't have to waste any time shopping. I don't care what I look like. <laughs> and for me it's a freedom. Mm -hmm. Not for everybody, of course. Everybody's different. Mm -hmm. But on the path of Dharma, there's really something freeing about not having to think about what you look like. Not having to please people in society. In the monasteries we have no mirrors, for example. So wonderful, right? So, but everybody's different, so everyone has to follow their own path. That's the beauty of Buddhism. We learn for ourselves, right? Check it out. Come and see the Buddha said. So we, we learn the teachings and then we test them out in mm -hmm. everyday life. That's what I did. And the more I tested it, the more I found it worked for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got more and more into it. I tried everything. Mm -hmm. I was uh, an interpreter, I was a yoga teacher, I was yeah. an artist. I, was, you know, I did just about everything. Mm -hmm. I went to many different countries. But ultimately, it was Buddhism that made me really happy. How is Buddhism different from other religions? Buddhism teaches us individual responsibility. Mm -hmm. We don't just abdicate our responsibility to some savior figure. Um, to the Buddha? If, not really. The Buddha taught the path, but the Buddha can't take away our sufferings just like that. Mm -hmm. Right? The Buddha taught us how to resolve our own sufferings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's more difficult, but it's more reasonable, it's more sensible, it's more practical. Right? So there are religions that promise happiness in the future, but mm -hmm. Buddhism actually teaches us how to be happier people now. Mm -hmm. And also how to get along with people of other traditions. Right? It doesn't say we're the best, we're right, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. No. Buddhism respects all religious traditions, mm -hmm. and so it actually has the tools for developing healthier, happier communities. Right? Is it valid in today's world, fast-changing world, with technology, with globalization? Mm -hmm. Is Buddhism valid at all? Well, I think it has a lot to give to the world. Here at the conference, at the Sakadita conference, we've been talking about, for example, this morning, Buddhism and environmental ethics. There's so many Buddhist principles that can help to address some of the problems of society today. This afternoon we were talking about Dharma in prison, uh, Dharma and AIDS, uh, treating AIDS patients. Mm -hmm. um, so many different social problems that Buddhism has so much to offer. And um, it's both enriching personally, but it's mm -hmm. also enriching to society. So I think it has a lot to offer. Technology is a great gift, but it can also be a trap mm -hmm. where we sit in front of our computers all day and download one thing after the other. Mm -hmm. It's endless, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But technology is a tool. What are we going to use it for ultimately? Just to play games? Well, I mean, life is passing us by. Mm -hmm. So 
we could play games. We could, I mean, complete, continue to download one program, one interesting little gossipy news bit after another, but mm -hmm. it's not going to help ultimately mm -hmm. to resolve the human situation. Mm -hmm. And I think as Buddhists, we have to be concerned about the human condition. Mm -hmm. Look, our world is such a mess. And if we're privileged, we can just sit back and enjoy, relax. But I don't think that's really ethical today. With so many children starving to death, mm -hmm. with so many people suffering from AIDS and political oppression, injustice, you know, drug addictions, um, you know, trafficking, human trafficking, all of these problems. How can we sit back and just, I mean, live a luxurious life? To me, that doesn't make any sense. I couldn't sleep at night if I didn't do something mm -hmm. to try to help improve the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the Buddha gave these teachings mm -hmm. for the good of the world. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean you have to be a Buddhist, right? We have people here who are Hindus and Muslims and Jews, and they find Buddhism very useful. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll have a panel on uh, different religious perspectives. Mm -hmm. But even people who are Hindus or Muslims or Jews, and Christians. We have mm -hmm. also we have a Catholic nun here. She comes to every Sakyadita conference. She finds wow. Buddhism so useful. Mm -hmm. it, it it helps with her Christian practice. Hmm. Yes. Wow. Yes, it's wonderful.